This is the Japanese version of Legendary Wings Arcade. This is recommended to me by a friend. Uh, I told him I liked the NES version, wanted to play more, and he said the arcade version is good. I should check it out. And it turns out they had it on Capcom Arcade Classics, which I had, so I got Legendary Wings, and it's actually really good. Specifically, I'm playing the Japanese version because you have different characters. You get to play... Uh, first player gets to be Michelle Hart, uh, who has white wings, and she has her little like pink wrestling booty short things. Whereas in the international version, yeah, see, there's Michelle and Kevin Walker. Michelle Hart, player two, Kevin Walker. What a generic name. But they were personally chosen by Ares to fight the evil computer Dark, which that's a pretty cool backstory. I never knew it until I played this arcade version. There you can see some of my high scores. All right, let's get to it. One of the things I like about this game is how it has the separate uh, ground bombs for like ground enemies. And I like that they actually have kind of a ballistic trajectory to them. It's cool, it makes it a little more interesting and strategic in parts. You have to be more careful about how you aim them to actually hit stuff. I love how this game has all these weird animated statues. Right there you can make them smile by hitting them with the ground bombs. I don't know if there's any point to that. Maybe it unlocks some kind of easter egg. I just do like doing it for fun. And they got these big scary statues here that I guess are like partially possessed by the evil computer Dark. You notice how they're like part cyborg statues? But yeah, I generally avoid those. Uh, they're good opportunities for like extra points. And I'm not that good and I usually just end up dying more. So I'm going to try to skip them as best I can. Yeah, I don't like how uh, in the international version you just play as two generic dudes with like golden wings. Just some Mediterranean pool boys. I think it's cool to actually play as the named characters. And I'm not entirely sure why they would have changed that in the international version. Changed it from... Michelle and Kevin Walker from the frickin' Japanese version, but I don't know, I guess they had their reasons. Alright, here we go in the first bonus cave. Lucky! Now listen to this music. This music always reminds me of, like, they were gonna do a video game adaptation of, like, Grease, or, like, Grease 2. The soundtrack would be like this. I mean, it, it sort of doesn't fit, but then again, this game is very odd anyway. Um, in these extra caves, you can shoot these treasure chests, and there's a chance to either get an extra power-up, or for it to turn into an enemy. Or you can just pick them up for 200 points each. So I think that's kind of cool. I didn't find that out again until specifically playing this version. Yeah, that music, I don't know. The music's entertained me ever since playing this game because it just, it's so weird, like happy and kind of upbeat. I imagine a little like 8-bit Olivia Newton-John singing along to it. Not even singing, just having like text at the bottom of the screen to insinuate that she's singing. Whenever I used to play this when I was younger uh, in NES, it took me the longest time to find out that you're supposed to dodge those Golden Falcon things. You can't just, like, bomb them to death. So I used to run into them all and die and piss off my friend who was the first player. There we go. Alright, Dark, I'm coming for you, man. Make your way to first area where the boss is waiting. Ready. I find it entertaining that there's even a platforming section at all, because, I mean, you have the legendary wings. Why do you need to platform? But whatever, it's fine. The controls are so weird and stiff, the platforming parts. 
they're not too difficult. Unless you just turn the difficulty of the cabinet way up. Even then, they're not that hard. Okay. I'm always a fan of parts of games where the main solution is just to shoot everything. <coughs> okay, excuse me. This game isn't usually uh, noticed for its music, but I can see why. Not bad, but it's definitely not great, or even that memorable. You got these cool little Metroid-esque mini-bosses, which I took out really quick. You have cleared the first area. There are four areas left before you meet Dark. Onward. Alright, man. Level 2. Level 3 is usually where I start dying a lot. Let's see if I can continue that fine tradition. This port um, seems pretty good. I can't really comment since I haven't played the arcade version of this before. Oh my god, I died. But I know, like, uh, playing 1943 on this port versus some other ones, it runs really nice. It has some graphical options, but they look terrible. It has scan lines, but they're purely vertical scan lines, and they're, like, hard scan lines, not the kind of faded or glowing type. So I don't use them. There's also a smoothing filter, which to me it blurs too much, so I don't use that either. I would like some more options, like to maybe imitate that glow or like mild burn-in, but this one I'm just running clean, and it looks nice enough because the game doesn't scroll that fast, there's never like a ton of enemies, so it actually looks pretty good being super sharp like this. Oh god, no, why? Okay, I still made it in a second. Lucky! Now we get some more beautiful Grease music. Like a 50s musical. Let's see if I can get some more power-ups. Get better gun. I have the worst luck with these, though. They, my chests rarely turn into power-ups when I shoot them. More often I get nothing or I get enemies. Oh god, now I'm gonna get screen crushed! Ah, damn it. Yeah, that was your fault, whoever's watching. Man, I got shot. Awesome. Yeah, I better stop screwing around or I'm not even gonna build a big game. Okay, I'm not gonna go for that other one. That's a trick. The difficulty, by the way, um, right now it's set somewhere between easy and normal. So that's why uh, my weapons are upgrading faster, like with one power up, instead of needing two or three. That's why the enemies aren't shooting a whole lot of stuff. I just did that so I can hopefully actually make it through the entire game for this video. But normally, you know. But I need to destroy Dark, man. Dark is messing up this weird uh, Middle Earth style grease. Some reason like God of War gives female wrestlers legendary wings and guns. Yeah, these parts are much easier if you can destroy one of the heads early. Alright. Make your way to second area where the boss is waiting. I definitely like the music of these parts more than the freaking 50s diner music. Curses, if only my legendary wings worked indoors. Oh crap, I walked right into that like an idiot. Yeah, 
and I walked into that like an idiot. Like you can tell, I'm really good at this game. Kind of lame that they have the same mini boss each time. There are three area left. Sort of a missed opportunity. If they ever do another legendary wings, they definitely need to mix it up a little. We definitely need like an edgy reboot of this game, like paid DLC and nudity and stuff. Be an Omega symbol on the ground right there. Oh god, it sucked me in. Damn it. Danger. Danger. These interior parts remind me of like the Gradius games. Where you're in sort of an unidentifiable, vague, alien looking place. You possibly might be inside something. Really dramatic music. Luckily, the enemies are simple. Once again, your legendary wings cease to work for a little while. I like those freaking little serpent monsters, though. They're cool. I don't know about these fucking trilobite things. Oh god. That's a lane. That's the first time I've died to one of these in a long time. Take wings again and defeat enemies. Well, I still have my wings in there, dude. They just didn't work. Ah, the tricky computer dark. It is dark. And see, I'm wondering, like, why would the God of War Ares dispatch warriors with, like, wings and pistols? It seems very unlike him. I would have expected, like, maybe an invincible shield or, like, a sword that can cut through anything. I mean, I guess the wings is good, since all these, well, most of the enemies happen to be, like, airborne and stuff. But, I don't know. Get away, robot! Shit. I think I missed a lucky cave. I can't believe I dodged this. I usually die once or twice right Ooh, got that bomb right in the bird statue's mouth. Make your way to third area where the boss is waiting. Luckily these are all pretty easy. I don't know, I thought they were terribly hard when I was younger, but they're all pretty easy until you get to the last one. Even that's not that bad. Just gotta be aware of weird controls. Middle path. And I wish I had someone playing with me, but my nephew has decided he hates old games. Just sucks, because he's like the only person I have to play local two player stuff with. At least I taught him to hate Fortnite, though, so that's mission accomplished.
You have cleared the third area. There are two area left before you meet Dark. Onward! I think one or two of these statues has a power of it and he bombed at the right time. Of course, I missed them all. That's good. No, oh, you evil statue, no! Oh god, I died. Okay, maybe I can get some power-ups in the Lucky Cave. Lucky? Now, it seems like maybe the layout of these lucky caves doesn't change. If so, that's interesting, and it makes me wonder if it's always the same boxes that have a good chance to turn into powers or not. Oh god, I just died and lost my power up. Alright, good job. Even on the semi easy mode, I didn't make it through. Wow, that was my second best score? That's terrible. Okay, let's try this again. Nice, nah, already died. Nice. This playthrough's going so well. Cave just saved my life. Okay, so let's see if my theory is correct. No, because that one didn't turn into a power up that time. Okay, so it looks like the boxes are at least partially randomized. Still, it looks like the layout doesn't change between any of the Lucky Caves, that's funny. Having this third power-up gun makes stuff better because the angle this fourth power-up gun does much more direct damage. I, know, I probably actually should have kept the third gun, but oh well. Alright, Dark, I'm coming. 
palace is a little ways off. As the crow flies. Wow, this gun one shots those giant trilobite things, that's pretty good. Ah, right in the bird's mouth. Make your way to fourth area where the boost is waiting. The boost is waiting for you. Alright, let's see if I can keep this damn power up I go through here. I like how they put these little red orb enemies that get bigger when you shoot them to kind of dissuade you from just firing madly the whole time you go through here. Pretty clever. In a lot of shooter games, that's your best strategy, it's just overwhelming firepower. And I walk right into that like an idiot. And I walk right into that like a goddamn idiot. I'm used to having a powered up gun so I don't have to hit him that much. Okay. Nice, I got lucky, I was about to die. You have cleared the fourth area. There is one left before you meet Dark. Notice how everything's getting a little more technological looking now. I don't know how an evil computer managed to take hold here. I don't know why that's a threat to the god of war. Seems like he would probably be in favor of like an evil computer ruling stuff. I don't know. We must take him out, me and my pink booty shorts. Ah damn, I just lost my power. No evil cave, no! So here we have the first part where you actually have to kind of dodge around a lot. You can run into stuff that kills you. Which I kind of don't like that in shoot 'em ups. I prefer my danger to come from active enemies and not just not running into shit, but. That's me. Some people like this style. You got popular with like R type and all that. Crap, I think I missed that power up right there. Lucky! Annoyingly easy to get stuck on some of these cave pieces, and I feel like they did that on purpose. This is an arcade version. God damn it! Not bad. That was weird, that power-up came out of nowhere. And goddammit, I got screen crushed because I got stuck on a piece of rock. Okay. I guess they just don't want me leaving here with power-ups, man. Oh, wait, wait, got another one. And I'm getting stuck again. Okay, at least I made it out of here with a power-up. I might be able to finish with this. The palace is a little ways off.
Whoa, man, having that big gun makes those things way quicker. Right in the bird's mouth. Doc is waiting for you. Summon up all your forces and go. What do you mean all my forces, dude? There's me and fucking Kevin Walker. <laughs> and Kevin's not even didn't even show up today. All your forces is just me and my pink booty shorts. Are good. All right, Dark, let's do it, man. You ugly bastard. Whoa, what? LOL. I never made it there with a big gun. I guess it's just a one-shot scene. Thanks to you, the world is solved. Oh yeah, now it just loops. It loops into like a slightly harder version. Yeah, I made that statue smile. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the enemies are a little faster in this loop version. No, Evil Cave, no! Danger. Danger. Seems like the difference in weapon strengths is less uh, in these side-scrolling sections versus in the top world sections, where it makes a pretty big difference whether you have a weak gun or a strong one. Okay, now real quick for comparison, um, let's do... We're going to do a score attack on the hardest difficulty on the international version. Let's see how bad this bad boy is. I haven't played it in a while. You notice how I'm just a generic brown-haired dude with gold wings? Are the wings still legendary? Are they? You notice how one power-up pickup there didn't increase my gun? Oh, God damn it! I died already. Uh, it takes, what, I think two or three to get your- Fuck! Get your first upgrade. Okay. That was terrible. I'm gonna try that one more time. 5,600 points, that's pretty bad. Nice, new record added to the leaderboard. That's the game being patronized. Oh, I got to get more gallery stuff though. I'm gonna have to go look at that in a second. So this ultimate difficulty, this is um all the stuff set to the hardest, whatever the hardest settings are in the arcade cabinet. Okay, so I took two power-ups to get my first actual upgrade, and I fucking lost it. Beautiful.
Wow. Okay, the projectiles definitely fly faster. Damn it. Okay. 16,900, that's a little more respectable. Before I end this uh, stream, let me go check out the gallery. Oh, that was it.